Nate Clark. It's very generous of you. Okay, so I'm here to talk about, um, pretty quickly, so lightning talk, like it's all around the lightning, right? Whoo, here we go. All right, so Haskell is so bad for startups that it's perfect for startups. You know, clickbait aside, um, I, I think that, that that idea has, has some truth to it. So um, to like evoke a broad range of people in the functional programming community, I thought I would start off with a definition. Um, and so this idea that's like running through this talk is a counterweight, right? That you're going to have force moving in one direction and you probably want some force moving in a different direction as well, right? This balance. Um, and you're going to have like grow or die. Um, and, it, and it might sound like you're actually like butting heads and fighting each other, but I don't think that's the case to have avoid success at all costs in, like, in the mix as well, right? That they sound like they're enemies, but they, act, they actually might work together. Um, and like to the chagrin, I think, of Haskellers, uh, I think we can maybe like focus on Haskell a whole lot. And there's this little thing and it's like Haskell and it's so fun, it's so nice and like no one hires for it, Dad gummit. Uh, but I think really like maybe most of the value is the stuff around Haskell, right? That's like not actually Haskell, but because Haskell's there, like this other good stuff is there too. So whenever I was thinking about like working at Mercury and one of the good things that like aren't Haskell, but that are probably more likely there because of Haskell, right? Like we, we like all these things, but you know, like the Python paradox, like that's like old hat, like we, we've heard about that, like niche languages, like no one's accidentally uh, a Haskell programmer, you know, like we have like the scars to prove it, right? Um, and you know, if you, if you write Haskell on the back end, like you're probably gonna like pull your hair out if like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna have like jQuery soup on the front end, right? Like you're, you're probably not as likely to do that. You know, you might have something like, you know, generating your types to make sure that things stay in sync or, you know, if you're like, yeah, like there are Haskell jobs and Haskell programmers and like sometimes the math doesn't work out quite like you want, so you probably have to care about onboarding and education, right? And that's just like also a good thing. Um, and then like I really like the database, so like you're probably more likely to have foreign key constraints and use like enums and check constraints and like actually care about the integrity of your data. Whereas if you're just like slinging stuff around and like everything's a map, right? Then it, you're, that's like less likely of a thing. So we've got like a bunch of ingredients and they're kind of like swirling around and like, is there something good here? Um, and I think it's like not just the technology, right? Like I've, I've talked mostly about the technology stuff, but I think like it's helpful to have some people <laughs> who are just like, oh man, there's a bug, but you know what? Screw you because I just want to like be in template Haskell for a, a while, you know? Um, and then it's also good to have people who are just like, I'm gonna start up doing cool stuff and I wanna ship things. Like if you say property-based testing one more time, like we just, we just need to move, right? This example's good enough. And so I go back to that, like, that balance, right? It's like it's both sides, like in a bunch of these things. So like you get excited, and I'm, like, I'm up here and I'm like, why should you people be listening to me? Uh, and I have this like existential dread of like, does this, <laughs> does this actually even matter? Like, is this, is this like a, a thought worth saying or hearing? I, I don't know. Um, I, I think maybe, like, probably. I think it's probably helpful. And I think probably is like a, like, again, like going back to startups, I think like probably is like a really heavy word there, right? Like, we, we don't know the future. We're making bets. Like, this isn't like always a safe space. There's gamble involved, right? So, you know, in that, you know, you might just like go back to like, is this like a crazy idea? And it's like, no, like, well, you know, like it, that's not like the, the calmest, sanest face, but you know, like diversifying your portfolio, right? You know, like this, this idea that there's like complexity in the world and we wanna understand like different angles of it, um, like is a real thing. So I, I think it is probably, probably valuable. Um, so kind of like to just like wrap up with something that I think maybe puts the idea in like a, like a coherent form is that like, if everything in your DNA is like move fast to break things, right? Like you might break too many things, <laughs> right? So I'm, I'm sure plenty of people have probably like been in a database where like too much stuff was broken. 
right? So some balance can be good. And like Haskell, like in friends, right? Like all that other good stuff around it, like that might help. So thank you for your time. <laughs>